these parts just came back from the galvanizing and they're looking awesome. And I'm very excited because this is one of my favorite collaborations that I'm currently involved in. So last year in October, I was contacted by a guy named Arjen Huse. Sorry, Arjen, if I mispronounced your name. He runs a flower farm in Germany, but is also experienced in market gardening. He wanted to build an electrically assisted wheel hoe. So I sent him one of my wheel hoes as a base for his project. Arjen is one of those people to whom uh, building things with his hands comes off naturally. And just as me, his workshop uh, seems to be his second home. So it took very little time to build the first prototype that was based on this electric wheelbarrow kit uh, that he bought from Amazon. And the first trials were promising. That's not straight! <laughs> but uh, the wheel was spinning too fast and clearly there was not enough traction, especially if the ground was even a little bit wet. So we started designing the prototype number two collaboratively, sending ideas back and forth on WhatsApp. And Arjen found a Chinese company that makes wheel hub motors with better characteristics to fit our needs. Now I'm not completely happy about importing those from China, but I think uh, as a starting point, it's okay to do that compromise. And I designed a completely new chassis for the electric wheel hoe with the weighted front and we hope that this will, this added weight will solve the problems of traction. We don't know exactly how much weight will be needed, so uh, I designed these plates that can be put on and off, uh, so we can adjust the, the, the exact weight that we need for desired traction. So even though at the moment of making this video, my uh, plans for the wheel hoe are not yet open source, this is a really good example of how I would like to be working with farmers. I want people to be able to build things on top of my designs. For example, I would like to see people build implements that I haven't even thought of and come up with the ideas uh, that will benefit everyone in the market gardening and regenerative agriculture communities. For example, Arjen has already built a rotating cultivator using four blades for the wheel hose uh, and they're rotating and, and it's powered by a chain drive uh, directly from the electric wheel itself. It turned out uh, to be a little bit too aggressive, but I think it's a really good starting point. We've also been working together on some 3D printed pulleys uh, for improving his earthway seeder, because he's been having some problems with, with the belt drive. And now I have to send parts for four exactly the same prototypes to Germany, to Arjen, and some of his colleague farmers, and they will be testing uh, the prototypes in the next following months. So stay tuned if you want to see how this process unravels.